In today's video, we're going to be learning how to cut and sew this simple shift dress. And this is so easy to do. So if this is what you're interested to learn how to do, please stay tuned and watch till the end. Thank you. So first, you have to fold your fabric into two, then into another two. So you can see I have about two folds on this. That I folded it into two, then into another two. There are four pieces now. Now... I'm going to be measuring uh, the biggest part of my measurement plus my sewing allowance. Okay, now uh, don't forget that this one inch that I left at this uh, extreme end is very important. At the while we are going on with this video, you know what the one inch is used for. So I just went ahead and marked three inches for my neck width, and then I came down for, uh, with about two inches for my neck depth. That's for the back neck depth. Now for the front neck depth, I came down by uh, 6 inches for my front neck depth. Now you can see that 1 inch that I left at this end. I'm going to be connecting 3 inches. Okay. I just marked 1 inch so I can know where to start uh, my measurement from. Now from this point, I will just measure with a slant so that it forms a v-neck now it's quite optional if you don't want to use a v-neck you can still use a round neck it depends on your preference for the purpose of this video i'm using a v-neck now i'll just connect with the slant and this is it this is for my front neck depth and it's at this front that i'll be having that opening that i have now now uh, for the shoulder measurement, you, you don't even actually need a shoulder measurement at this point because this is a cut together gown. So I just used the whole of my fabric that was left. I had about uh, 20 inches and then I came down by 2 inches. I connected to the top area. Okay. At this point, you can see how easy it looks. Now, after connecting this, I'll go ahead and measure my armhole area. The that's my sleeve round. Where I, where my hands will be coming out from this area that I just touched down. Let me measure it again. So I just want to measure mine. I want mine to be a bit fitted, not too open at this point. So I'll just go ahead and mark out what I want. I, I am using about six inches. You can do more. Actually, you can do up to ten inches. I just did, no, didn't want mine to be having, you know, to be too open. Okay, now I'll come down and measure, go up and then I'll measure out my bust area plus my sewing allowance. Okay, so at this area, I'll measure my bust uh, measurement and then plus my sewing allowance. So I'll just quickly measure it and then connect with the curve to that sleeve area okay and this is very easy then I'll measure from my shoulder to my half length okay and I have about 16 inches for my half length so I'll measure my half length area round I just went ahead and measured my hip area as well now so my half length is about 16 inches my hip area is 24 inches okay so i'll just take my measurement plus my sewing allowance and this is it i just quickly marked now for my hip area i'll measure out my hip area plus my sewing allowance and then i'll mark so i'll connect with the necessary curves from my hip area to my waist area to my uh for the, to the upper part of my uh, measurement and then i will now come down through this area this is for the lower end i just connected from my hip down maintain the same measurement so i'm just cutting out my my the max areas okay now for this area i will also cut open i'm just cutting open 
then I'll continue all the way down. Now this is how it looks. For the front neck area, you can see how I did it. Now what I'm using for this is a velvet bias. Okay, so I'm going to start from this neck area all the way down. Okay. But before that, I want to join the two pieces of for the front. I just joined the two pieces for the front. Oh, okay. I'm starting from this area that I have one inch and then all the way down. Around my lower area, I will come up by seven inches and then I will leave it open. Okay, this uh, will be a pattern so that I can walk freely on it. This is just the style. Okay, so you can see that I just joined the front area. Then I'm going to be using this velvet bias from the neck area down on, on each side. Okay, on e you know that there are two pieces that I joined together. So what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to place this from the neck area and then sew it all the way down, okay? Including this area that is open. I'll just have it this way. So let me just quickly uh, pin it up and then show you how it looks. So this is how it looks after pinning it. I'll just quickly uh, sew on it using this as a guide. So this is it after I had already sewn it. It's very easy. All I did was that I ran my stitch on each side. Okay? And it's very easy. Now once you are done doing this, you are practically almost done. All you have to do is just to... Uh, bring the back area and attach it right now shoulder to shoulder okay you just stitch on it from this end okay I will run my stitch down leave my sleeve open and then go down of course you should know that you 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 need to fold in your sleeve you need to fold it in okay so it, it doesn't look tattered so at this end as well i just quickly stitched on it all the way down and this is practically all for this video this is so simple to do i'm really grateful that you can uh, keep watching up to this end thank you for uh, subscribing to lexv designs